Glutaryl COA dehydrogenase, Wikipedia Audio 1SIQ, 1SIR, 2R0M, 2R0N NM000159, NM013976 NM0010447444, NM008097 Structure NP000150, NP039663, NP0013809, NP032123 Glutaryl COA Glutaryl COA dehydrogenase is an enzyme encoded by the GCDH gene on chromosome 19. The protein belongs to the acyl COA dehydrogenase family. It catalyzes the oxidative decarboxylation of glutaryl COA to crotonyl COA and carbon dioxide in the degradative pathway of L lysine, L hydroxylysine, and L tryptophan metabolism. It uses electron transfer flavoprotein as its electron acceptor. The enzyme exists in the mitochondrial matrix as a homotetramer of 45 kD subunits. Mutations in this gene result in the metabolic disorder glut eric aciduria type 1, which is also known as glut eric acidemia type I. Alternative splicing of this gene results in multiple transcript variants. GCDH is a tetramer with tetrahedral symmetry, which allows it to be seen as a dimer of dimers. Its structure is very similar to other ACDs but the overall polypeptide fold of the GCDH is made up of three domains, an alpha helical bundle amino terminal domain, a beta sheet domain in the middle, and another alpha helical domain at the carboxyl terminus. The flavin adenine dinucleotide is located at the junction between the middle beta strand and the carboxyl terminal alpha helix domain of one subunit and the carboxyl terminal domain of the neighboring subunit. The most distinct difference between GCDH and other ACDs in terms of structure is the carboxyl and amino terminal regions of the monomer and in the loop between beta strands 4 and 5 because it is only made up of four residues whereas other ACDs have much more. The substrate binding pocket is filled with a string of three water molecules, which gets displaced when the substrate binds to the enzyme. The binding pocket is also smaller than some of the other ACD binding pockets because it is responsible for the chain length specificity of GCDH for alternate substrates. The GCDH gene is mapped onto 19p13.2 and has an exon count of 15. GCDH is mainly known for the oxidative decarboxylation of glutaryl COA to crotonyl COA and carbon dioxide, which is common in the mitochondrial oxidation of lysine, tryptophan, and hydroxylysine. The way it completes this task is through a series of physical, chemical, and electron transfer steps. It first binds glutaryl COA substrate to the oxidized form of the enzyme and abstracts the alpha proton of the substrate by the GLU370 catalytic base. Hydride is then transferred from the beta carbon of the substrate to the end of the FAD, yielding the 2E reduced form of FAD. Thus, this allows for the decarboxylation of glutaconyl COA, an enzyme-bound intermediate, by breaking the C-gamma-C delta bond, resulting in formation of a dienylate anion, a proton, and CO2. The dienylate intermediate is protonate, resulting in crotonyl COA and a release of products from the active site. Finally, the 2E reduced form of fat is oxidized to 2-1E e steps by an external electron acceptor to complete the turnover.
Mutations in the GCDH gene can lead to defects in the enzyme encoded by it which leads to the formation and accumulation of the metabolites glutaric acid and 3-hydroxyglutaric acid as well as glutaryl carnitina in body fluids, which essentially leads to glutaric aciduria type I, an autosomal recessive metabolic disorder. Symptoms for this disease include, macrocephaly, acute encephalitis-like crises, spasticity, dystonia, chorioathetosis, ataxia, dyskinesia, and seizure and are prevalent one in every 100,000 individuals. Mutations in the carboxyl terminal of GCDH have been most identified in patients with glutaric aciduria type I, more specifically, mutations in ALA389VAL, ALA389GLU, THR385MET, ALA377VAL, and ALA377THR all seem to be associated with the disorder because they dissociate to inactive monomers and slash or dimers. GCDH has been seen to interact with Function Clinical Significance Interactions